the internet. <laughs> I am Segan Wish, aka Blair Falcon, aka Yanda Ushan, aka a bunch of other things. Um, I have two YouTube channels that are active right now. One is Segan Wish, my personal channel. The other is Evan Dub Productions. I will be posting this to both of them. Um, I haven't been active lately, and that is because I just found out that I'm going to have a baby, and I am about nine weeks pregnant. And I have been just adjusting my food intake and my exercise habits to prepare for that. Because I never, like, I cared about fitness, but not a lot. And now I'm a heck of a lot more motivated because uh, if I don't exercise, I'm going to have an extremely painful deliver yeah, delivery as opposed to a very painful one, I guess. I don't know. I've never um, given birth before, so... And, you know, I, uh, never really used to be the pro-kids type of person. I, but I'm pretty happy about this. Um, it wasn't planned. Um, but I figure that, uh, if I found a stable husband in the future and settled down and wanted kids, like, at that point, I might be too old to have a healthy baby, you know, so 28 is really the best age for me to, you know, um, <laughs> younger and I would have been too immature, older, and it might not be as healthy. I already know that it's going to have special needs, um, and I am preparing for that. Um, thankfully, because of my job, I know about early intervention services and I know um, what what to look for as far as developmental milestones and everything, but, um, and I'm probably going to be a single mother, um, there is someone who wants to co-parent with me, I'm not sure how, how fit they are to be a parent, um, we're gonna see if we can agree on anything, because, you know, my concern is my baby's best interests, and this person's concern seems to kind of be his ego, and I'm not really okay with that, um, so we will see what happens, and if we can come to any sort of agreement on anything, um, yeah, my, my parents have had mixed reactions, like, my mom's excited, <laughs> probably because she doesn't live with me, uh, she's excited, she wants to know her grandbaby, um, she has offered that, if I can't find, like, a stable situation here that the baby and I can go and stay with her and her husband, um, in Switzerland. And that is a last resort because I would have to leave, um, everything behind and I really love my job and I love my friends and, um... <sighs> Well, I'd have to do all of my production-related activity remotely, and that would kind of suck. <sighs> uh, my dad is not excited. He is angry, um, thinks that I was irresponsible. Um, yeah, it was the... <laughs> it was the other person's idea to have sex, it was the other person's idea to not use a condom, um, I was not on board with this, so, um, I am on board with, you know, with the baby, I am, like, 100% accepting of that, and so I can't really understand why other people are freaking out, because I'm the one that's carrying it, you know, um, and I've got names picked out, which, me and the person who offered to co-parent are not in agreement on. Um, he thinks they're generic and wants, like, epic names for my baby, and I want names... I think they're cool-sounding, you know? Um, I want names that will help them, you know, fit in. A little bit and then you know they can change them when they get older but the problem with growing up with an unusual name is that you're singled out you know and that might make it you know more difficult for them to fit in and more difficult to 
um, develop good relations with their peers and all that. And um, he wants to homeschool them entirely and have them be just, you know, with his friend's kids. And I would like to send it to Montessori school and um, have it participate in group activities and, you know, day programs and such that, or, you know, after school programs and get early intervention services if needed and um, regional, you know, San Andreas Regional Center services if needed. And I want all this support and he just wants to isolate it. And I'm not okay with that. Um, anyway, more updates to follow. Uh, I am... This is running longer than my previous takes. I kept flubbing, you know, what I meant to say. I was like, no, I need a script. And then I was like, I don't need a script. Uh, I need to head over to Piffy's place for, like, the first time since I found out. And, uh... <laughs> which, you know, that sounds really dramatic. But, um... No, because I found out last Monday, so... Uh, but yeah, I gotta actually work on the show a little bit, um, and hang out with her because I don't want to just, like, shut her out and isolate myself because that, that wouldn't be fair. Um, plus I, I think she misses me and I, I miss her too, so, yeah. I will be back later, guys. Cheers.